Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. So today we've got a spray gun review. So I'll put you on the head cam here. And I decided to put this one up on my Raw channel just because I just wanted to. It's easier for me this way. So hopefully you can still enjoy this spray gun review. But what we've got here is Avalon Spray Gun um, Beyond Nova, as you can see there. So um, this was sent out to me by a woman on Instagram. She contacted me and she said, hey, I've got a spray gun, would you like it? I said, yeah, why not, just send it out. I didn't actually realize that it was kind of a half of a knockoff. I didn't realize it was like beyond Nova. That's kind of, could have been a little bit more original. And even the, like, it looks like a, a I want a supernova. Anyone who's used them knows that. Slightly, slightly different um, accents on it here and there, but um, yes, yeah, so this is a 1.4 that's on there. I've already had a look at that and there's a 1.3 in here It comes with a couple of cleaning tools a spanner and that looks like a uh, seal and a gun filter Instruction manual a gauge here as well, and then we've got the adapter. So Firstly, you'll notice that that's the old PPS adapter. So that's a PPS-1 adapter. But what I didn't realize when I first got it is this actually fits the SATA RPS. So at this shop, we actually do run the SATA RPS cup. So we've got both. We've got the PPS and the RPS cups. But this actually fits inside the center. So that's actually really cool um, that that adapter actually fits the RPS. I'll give you guys a close up look at it. And then we'll get straight into the booth. We just, um, so we won't be mucking around. Um, I've seen some people do their reviews and they'll like stand in front of the camera talking about a spray gun for like 20 minutes and it's like dude Just take it in the booth and show me how it sprays. You know what I mean? But hey, whatever if that's the way you want to make your videos you go for it If uh, people get something out of it, then good on them. But anyway, so that's it Avalon is the brand I guess beyond Nova is the model um, As I mentioned before it's got the 1.4 tip on it um, and there is a 1.3 in there um, I do like the fact that they've given you a few things with it. So you've got your gauge, you know um, Yeah, I mean I guess it added a little bit of value. This is probably the kind of thing that um, I don't know maybe people in like the developing nations They're gonna get more value out of something like this if it sprays well, we'll have to see But anyway, that's it. So beyond Nova a50 um it, it, look, it does actually seem to be relatively well built. It feels pretty solid in the hand, and it doesn't look too bad. Anyway, let's take it in the booth. So here we are in the booth, ready to start spraying. I thought I'd bring my Supernova in just to give you guys a bit of a side-by-side -side look at these two guns, and yes, they're obviously very similar. Not identical, you can see like down the, the bottom here, it's a little bit different on that gun, but yes, it's, it's basically a copy. Um, it may not be, you know, nut for nut, bolt for bolt, but it's the best part of a copy. Anyway, let's get into spraying. So this is actually not the first time I've used this gun. I did use this gun on a, um, a bumper job a couple of weeks ago, and um, yeah, so I, I just thought that job was probably wasn't the best video footage to use as the review, so I thought we'd, uh, we'd clear this job up here for the purpose of the review. So when I'm unsure on a gun, I usually do actually start on like a small job like a bumper. As I said, I have used it on a bumper. Um, just as much as anything to be, to be build up the confidence and make sure that I'm confident that it's, um, it's going to do a good enough job, and, and I am. I mean, it didn't do too bad. Um, the funny part about it is that I'm nearly more confident with this gun than I am with the Supernova. I, 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 must, I must have to tweak the settings on this again, and I will revisit that gun soon. But, um, yes, the way I had it set up, it was a dangerous gun. But yeah, if you look at the size or the shape of the fan, it's more a conventional shape, which is sort of like the curved edges on it. The fan is not the biggest. Oh, we can open that up. That's actually too big. So that's coming a good couple of turns there. 
That's one thing it does share in common with the Supernova is that it's got a very big fan on it. But I did point that out in a previous video that I, I think a big part of the reason the Supernovas, for me anyway, are so hard to control is because because of the shape of that fan. They're very hard edges on them. And all you need to do is tweak it that way or that way a little bit and you're going to be overloading it. But look, you can probably notice also another thing that it shares with the Supernova is that it does have a fair bit of overspray. But to be honest, I would say maybe use it a little bit more. I would probably have to get a bit more scientific with it to you know, do, do a side by side or a panel by panel comparison but it feels like it does use a lot of material so I guess it's one of those things like people like myself who spray all day every day um, well not all day but every day um, these things just don't churn through the paint which is especially in the automotive industry this paint is expensive you know so if you're using a gun that uses even if it's only 20 or 30 mils per panel, that adds up. And over the course of a year or even a career, it's going to make a big difference, you know? So, for that reason, I would probably say most people stay away. Um, most painters, I would say you could do much better. But on the other hand, no doubt there's some people, even in the... Um, what do, what do we call it? What's the political correct term? The, we don't call it bird rods. It's developing nations. That's what we call it. But no doubt there's some people in developing nations that could um, use this and benefit from it. But, but on the other hand, like you're still going to be using a fair bit of material, aren't you? No matter where you are in the world. And... Uh, Material is more expensive than the spray gun, like the spray gun is a one-off one purchase, whereas you've got to keep buying the paint, don't you? But yeah, I did actually have somebody ask me recently to do a review on this gun, so here we are. Um, I don't usually do reviews on the fly, but here we are. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's more than, more than capable, um, and as I say, I'm actually more confident much more, like much more confident with this in my hand than the real Supernova. So, I'm going to go out and mix up some more clear and I can tell you mate, there is no way that I would have used that much with my DV1 or my Pro Light. It's, you can just see the amount of overspray. Massive clouds. But anyway, I'll be back here in um, five minutes and we'll put that second coat down. Rightio, back to it guys. So I went out and mixed up another 250 mils of clear, just so we don't run out. And um, yeah, let's smash this second coat on. One thing that I should mention is, well, I do like the adapter because you can go PPS1, but also the side of RPS. That's the cup that I'm running here. But it just doesn't feel nice and tight. Like with the side one, it feels like that's not going to go anywhere, but you can even see from this, that's sort of moving around a bit. I'm not overly confident, you know, like for all I know, that, that could sort of fall out pretty easily. You may notice I just turned the pressure down a little bit for this second coat. But yeah, I mean, the fan is pretty solid, you know, it's not perfect, but I've seen worse. Like, the atomization is actually not too bad on this gun. It's producing a um, pretty good finish, realistically. I would actually... Um, I'd like to see this gun in the hands of someone who is a big Supernova fan and get their, uh, get their opinion. 
Actually, I know who needs this gun. I met this guy, I think his name was Dave, at a party. Um, he's a spray painter from over there in Melton, here in Victoria, the other side of Melbourne. But he loves his supernovas. So I might see if I can get this gun into his hands and see what he thinks of it. See if I can send it out to him or something like that and uh, yeah, get, get an extra opinion.
It's probably one where I wouldn't really highly recommend it, just mainly because of the amount of material that it uses. It is quite hungry on the material. Um, but I mean, yeah, the gun in and of itself, it doesn't do too bad of a job. I mean, it looks fine. It, it feels like it's it's made pretty well. They do add some value by putting a gauge in the, in the bottom. It comes in a nice case. So, you know, they've, look, they've done a pretty good job at copying. Um, and I actually didn't realize that it was a copy gun until I uh, had it rock up. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a copy of a supernova. Um, so otherwise, it would have gone on my main channel if it was an original gun. And I probably wouldn't have even accepted the gun itself, because I don't know, I'm not really for, I'm not really a big fan of the knockoff spray guns, but have a look at that, man. Like, you, you can barely fault the finish in it, you know? Like, it's, it's definitely a nice um, flat finish that I got out of the gun. Um, but as I say, it uses a lot, a lot of material, and um, look, the build quality does seem to be pretty good, you know? So, as I say, let me know what you think. Um, I think this is my first time doing a spray gun review on the RAW channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to support the show, be sure to go and buy some merch. There's always a link in the description of my videos. And also, be sure to go and um, follow me on the alternate media sites. There's also links in the description. There's another quick look at the gun. And until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.